Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And the hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Once again, we meet in yet another presentation inside the Word of God. Last time, I explained about the loyal disciple. I explained about categories of loyalty. I explained about the devoted disciple. I gave an example of John the Revelator, why he was the disciple whom the scriptures say the disciple whom Jesus loved the most. And I gave a reason. And I also read the scripture where Jesus is asking Simon Peter three times if he really loves him. And I disputed on that passage why Jesus the Son of God would ask Peter three times concerning his love for him. And in all that, I was measuring the loyalness of disciples. And today, we want to enter into yet another creative dimension inside the Word of God. And today, we want to focus on the victory. But this victory, it cannot be explained without explaining the cross. The whole victory of Christianity, not just Christianity, the world itself is associated or covered by the explanation of the cross. The cross which is the finished works is the significance of what makes us as Christians, not just makes us as Christians, but makes us a victorious Christians. So without the cross, without the explanation of the sacrifice which Jesus did, there is no description of any whatsoever victory. And today I want to talk about victory. And I'm going to be explaining about the cross. There are so many people that merely understand basically that Jesus died for us. He died for our sins. This is the least that they understand. They don't understand that when Jesus died, for us on the cross there are many issues many matters in the spirit that he resolved which are not only dying for our sins but he stood in the gap for us he compensated for us he suffered for us he was persecuted for us he was afflicted for us. He was punished for us. He lived in misery for us. He was neglected by his own father for us. And in all that, the cross needs to be explained so that someone may understand that Jesus did not only die for your sins, but paid the price and in paying that price he endured a lot of afflictions a lot of sufferings and the cross carries a lot of power and that power leads unto a victory now for us to understand more on the victory which is elaborated by the cross let us go to the book of first john chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads whosoever believe that jesus is the christ is born of god and everyone that loveth him that beget loveth him also that is begotten of him the scripture here is simply saying whoever believes in jesus christ must also believe in the one that has been 
sent by Jesus. Not only he that has been sent by Jesus, but he that is the bearer, he that is the father who dwells in the most high places, and he that inspires Jesus, and the, the one that is inspired by the same Jesus. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God. Meaning that when you show love unto one another, it is also evident that you love God in the same way that God himself as the Father loved his own son to the level that he sacrificed his own son in a reference and significance of showing his true love for us. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Whatever is born of the world does not overcome God. But whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And whatsoever is born of God is none other than his firstborn son, who is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ being the same that was crucified on the cross. And after being crucified on the cross, we were able to overcome the world. He was able to overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. I want to talk about the victory. Without Jesus Christ, you have no victory. Without Jesus Christ, you cannot win. Without Jesus Christ, you are losing. You are already suffering a defeat. You need the victor that overcame the world. The victor of even our faith. The victor of even our strength. The victor that is above Lucifer the devil. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. There are other religions that don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. But they believe in Jesus as a prophet. They believe in Jesus as a Messiah. The fact that they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Every other belief that they have about Jesus disqualifies their beliefs. Why? Because Jesus says... Whoever believes in me, believes also in the Father. Whoever believes in the Son, has also seen the Father. And no one comes unto me unless the Father draweth. Meaning that you cannot separate God the Father and his Son. This is he that came by the water and the blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that bears and witness. Meaning that anyone that believes in Jesus Christ should be able to bear as a witness that Christ is the living son of God. You cannot just believe in Jesus Christ without proving it by being a witness. You need to be a bearer of the word, one that carries the witness unto all nations, and you testify and you confess Jesus with your lips, you confess Jesus with your mouth as the Son of God. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin unto death, and the sin that is unto death is the sin. Of forsaking Jesus Christ. There are people that are looking for many other solutions in life that have nothing to do with the making or creating a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. And that sin of worshipping other gods, that sin of worshipping anything that is not Jesus is idolatry. 
and that idolatry is the sin unto death and the sin unto death can only be blotted away by Jesus Christ who is the son of the living father we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not why because there is he that died for our sins and he that died for our sins does not sin he died for us because he did not have a sin he only carried the sin on the cross and when he resurrected he was raised with us and we were raised from our sins and he that carries the same christ inside him inside his heart inside his mind inside his soul inside his spirit cannot sin sin cannot be found in such but he that is begotten of god keepeth himself and that wicked one touch toucheth him not and we know that we are not we are of god and the whole world lieth in wickedness and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me matthew chapter 16 verse 24 and then jesus said unto his disciples if any man will come after me let him deny himself what was jesus talking about here he was talking about the cross that you must carry your cross and when you carry your cross you are carrying all the burdens and the afflictions and you are sacrificing to follow christ no matter what circumstance and there are circumstances that are associated with the following jesus christ and the circumstances that are associated with the following jesus christ is that you shall be afflicted and you shall be persecuted by this world and when you are afflicted and you are persecuted by this world you shall be expected to endure the process and when you shall be expected to endure the process you shall endure the process in pain but the pain shall not be unto death but the pain shall be unto life and you shall be given eternal life and the eternal life that you shall be given you shall be given after endurance this is why christ is saying he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me matthew chapter 16 verse 24 then said jesus unto his disciples if any man will come after me let him deny himself it means you need to deny yourself and you need to deny yourself to the level that you you start a new life today in jesus christ and when you start a new life in jesus christ it means you are forsaking everything you do not love your life you do not love yourself you only love jesus christ as your lord and savior and when jesus was nailed on the cross they were saying unto themselves he saved others why can he not save himself if he be the king of israel let him come down on the cross why because they did not understand the manner of death they did not understand why jesus had died they did not understand that this was not just a practical circumstance they did not know the meaning of the the crucifixion they did not know the meaning of the death and they did not know that he was going to resurrect they did not understand even the resurrection they did not understand even the suffering of jesus christ they thought this was just a personal death they thought that this was nothing associated with the the sacrifice that jesus did for the people in mark chapter 8 verse 34 and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also he said unto them whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me taking up your cross is walking in the same footsteps that jesus walked and when you walk in the same footsteps that jesus walked what it means is that you are walking in the same steps of righteousness you are walking in the same steps of sacrificing sacrificing for god and loving not the world but loving the father loving not the world but loving christ the son of the living god 
whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up the cross for christ sent me not to baptize but to preach the gospel not with the words of wisdom but the words that manifest wisdom lest the cross of christ should be made of none effect by the words of the wisdom of this world there is wisdom of god and there is wisdom of heaven and christ did not only come with the words he came with the words that give life at one time he says these words that i speak they are spirit and life at one moment apostle paul says i did not come unto you with enticing words meaning that the word of god that is made manifest that is preached about throughout the world because of the cross it is the word of life the word that gives eternity the word that gives salvation the word that is everlasting first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness there are those that still don't understand that the preaching of the cross is not foolishness they think the preaching of the cross is some theoretical teaching some historical preaching they think that the scripture is just some theology some empty theology they don't understand that the cross is the finished works they don't understand that the cross bears the word that gives life and the life that is everlasting for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness to them that perish why because they perish because they don't have the understanding but unto us which are saved it is the power of god in the book of colossians chapter 1 verse 20 and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in and on earth or things in heaven blotting out the handwriting of ordinances blotting out words cases that were spoken blotting out the sin that was against us which was contrary to us and it took away every blemish upon us and we were made blameless nailing it unto the cross in hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for joy that was set before him enjoyed the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne child of god without the cross we can no, no longer talk about a victory without the cross we cannot talk about victory without the finished works that were done by jesus on the cross there is no cross and without the cross there is no finished works today i've come once again as a messenger of god not just as the revelator but as the servant of heaven i've been sent sent by the heavens to tell you that your time is now leaky you need to give yourself give your life give your mind give your heart unto jesus christ give your life unto jesus christ the one that sacrificed his life for you on the cross i'm praying for you child of god so that you understand the worthiness of the cross you understand that jesus died for you and when you understand why jesus christ died for you you become a victor and you are enhanced to reach to reach the level of victory i'm praying for you in the name of jesus